Mentoring really requires wearing multiple hats. You need to be a technical expert, a coach, and a project manager all at once. You need to have passion, responsibility, and patience. You need to have an interest and knowledge in the topic of the student's project. This definitely requires a substantial commitment, at least five hours a week on average. Some mentors may spend up to 10 hours a week. You want your student and their project to be successful. In order to ensure that, you need to engage with the students throughout the entire summer. Keep up regular and frequent communication. You need to be accessible and approachable, so your students won't feel intimidated to share the issues they might be facing. Promote independence by encouraging your student to suggest a solution before fixing the issue yourself. Give frequent and actionable feedback throughout the project, not just during the required evaluations. We're here to help the student to learn about and produce quality open source code. So you shouldn't think of them as just a consultant or a junior employee. That's really not going to help them. You want to help them succeed in their project and show them how to succeed in a work environment. Set the tone by helping them become a part of your community and encourage them to interact and ask questions. You need to get to know your student. You can try to figure out their strengths and anticipate areas where they might need to learn more. Find out where are they in their education or career planning. What's next for them after GSOC is over? You should point them in the direction of resources and encourage exploration. It's really important that you make sure your student is interacting with the community and staying actively involved. Successful students stay engaged in the community. You'll need to refine your timeline for the 12-week project as the summer goes along, but there needs to be an agreement between both of you about what's expected for the project and the best course to get there. Help your student be ready to contribute full-time when the coding period begins. It means the development environment should be set up during the bonding period. They should have tested it and they should have done something real. They should have met other community members along the way so they're not 100% dependent on you for answers. You should require your student to meet the mutually agreed upon deadlines and milestones of the project. They should be involved in regularly scheduled meetings with their mentor or community. And they should regularly blog about their work or post to forums. They should show work regularly and in public. Students who don't make regular commitments or don't participate in the community forum are more likely to fail. You should expect them to be excited about their project, about GSOC, and most importantly about open source software development. Good mentors have read the mentor guide. It is easy to find specific and useful information, so use it as an ongoing reference. Students should spend approximately 30 to 40 hours a week on their project. As mentors, you should spend about two to five hours a week on mentoring, probably about an hour a day, sometimes less, sometimes more, reviewing code, testing their code, answering questions, and encouraging your student to work with the community. Complete all your evaluations at least 24 hours before the deadline. There are three evaluations through the summer. Watch out for additional deadlines and suggestions from the Google team. Read all the emails. They are important. 